Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Java tutorial. Uh, previously what you guys were able to do is um, program a game of Greedy Pig. So if you click run in your program and you run greedypig.java you will start rolling a die and you will keep rolling until you get to a 2 and it tells you how many times you have rolled it uh, including the time that you rolled a 2 so what we want to do now is teach you guys how to play this greedy pig game uh, a certain number of times in a row so we're going to use a concept called the for loop and what the for loop is able to do is to repeat a set of instructions a certain number of times so as you can see here I have highlighted the section of the code that deals with um, playing the game so because I want to now play this game a certain number of times what I'm gonna do is put all that code inside a for loop so the for loop, the notation work, works like this. If I put in here for bracket int x is equal to zero. So I declare a variable called x and initially it is equal to zero. And I make it so that while x is smaller than let's say a hundred, then x is going to increase by 1 every single time that I repeat the instructions that I'm going to put in the braces here. So I'm going to copy all of this code that deals with running the game and I'm cutting it and I'm pasting it inside the braces here. So what this means is I'm going to run all of this code a hundred times. Okay, now let's just run it now and show you if it'll work. So if you click run greedy pig, what's happening is that it's played the game once at the beginning and then once you have rolled a two, um, it doesn't play the game again, right? It just keeps rolling. It, keeps, it just keeps saying that the game is ending before you even start it. So why is that? Now it's because inside the for loop we have a while loop that only starts when a dot number does not equal 2. If you remember the object a is the name of a is the name of the object of the dice object that we created earlier on and we only keep rolling the dice if it doesn't equal 2. So what we're going to do is after we've played the game once so at the end of this code I'm gonna set a dot number to 0. Right so if I have done that then after I have played the game once it increases x by 1 and then it runs all this code again and then when it gets to the while loop it'll check if a is not equal to 2 which it isn't right now so it'll start rolling again okay so if I play this game so if I click play now it'll run this game a hundred times so you can see here I'll just scroll up a bit it's rolled it this many times and it tells me that in total I have rolled the die 581 times which is quite a few times okay so I'm going to cut out this you have rolled the die in number of times and I'm only I'm gonna paste it outside of the for loop so here's the while loop which represents um, one game and then the for loop represents a hundred games so here's the brace for the end of the for loop and I'm gonna paste it 
out here that says you have rolled the die this many times in total okay so in total out of a hundred games I have rolled it um, 581 times now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable that tells me how many times I'm going to repeat this game greedy pig so at the start um, after I have declared in by the way these two lines can be simplified to just one line int n equals zero and then the next line I'm going to create is another int variable called number of games and originally it's going to equal zero uh, actually I'll, I'll set a number soon but this number of games variable uh, stores uh, sorry indicates how many times we will run the game we will play the game okay and let's make it a hundred times so therefore instead of saying x is smaller than a hundred I can just say x is smaller than the number of games okay and then at the end when I'm printing out you have rolled the die this many times in total and then in the next line I'm also going to print actually in the line before that I'm going to say you have played the greedy pig game uh, and then I'm gonna put you have played the greedy pig game plus number of games plus times All right so it tells me how many times I've played the game and then tells me how many times I've rolled the die in total and then it does a little bit of maths for me and tells me that on average you have um, and then plus and then I'm gonna do a bit of math and say I want the number of times that I've rolled the die divided by the number of games so you have this many rolls per game okay so basically it tells me on average how many times I have to roll the dice to get a 2 right because n is the number of times I have rolled the dice in total from playing this many games okay so if I run the if I run the game now okay so I click run greedy pig it tells me at the end you have played the greedy pig game a hundred times you have rolled the die 582 times in total on average you have five rolls per game now let's have a look at the maths behind this and on average you have five rolls per game this number five is actually coming from this 582 times divided by a hundred but that should give us 5.82 which should be six rolls so why has it rounded it down to five rolls and the reason for that is because when you have two integers so I have number of games is an integer and n is also an integer so what happens is an integer divided by an integer will give you another integer and when it's not an integer it'll round it down to an integer 
So we don't really want it to do that. So therefore, what I'm going to do is make one of these variables double. So I'm going to make the number of games double. And then what's going to happen is at the end, when I divide it by the number of games, it'll tell me the actual number instead of rounding it. So if I save this now and I run the game, it tells me at the end that I have 5.88 rolls per game. So it hasn't rounded it. So I run it again. 5.86, 6.1, 5.98, 5 5.75, 5.92. So it tells me the number without rounding it. Okay, so if I, you will see that the more games I play, the closer this number is to 6. So if I play 300 games, for example, and I save it and I run the game, you can see here that it's closer and closer to 6. And if I make it a 1,000 games, let's just see what happens. Right, it becomes very close to 6 rolls. And so what this tells us mathematically is that on average, okay, you get to roll the dice six times and the sixth time you roll it will be a two on average. Okay, so you basically get five rolls and then the sixth time you should get a two on average. Okay, thanks for watching a tutorial on the for loop. See you guys next time.